The time has finally come, my friends. The time has come where we are about to have the showdown between sparkly unicorns. Uh, something I really should have seen coming. I mean, after all, it has been years working with our miniature unicorns and, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. They happen to look quite different than the unicorns of modern day, but I'll have you know that these unicorns have been contributing all sorts of amazing genetic experiments to our laboratory challenge for years now. And I should have guessed that, of course, that wasn't exactly going to fly, uh, especially considering, you know, our unicorns have a lot of pride and they have caused quite a bit of chaos in our laboratory challenges in the past. Uh, so I suppose I really should have seen it coming. But today, when I stepped out to see how the fields of our newly expanded laboratory have been doing, uh, imagine my surprise when I saw that these two unicorns are locked horns in battle. So, welcome you guys. Today, we're going to be doing something really, really fun. We are actually going to be having a showdown! It's going to be a showdown of the ages of mythical proportions, quite literally, because we're going to be working with two of our mythical creatures. But we are going to be having a showdown between our brand new, extremely fancy, and very proud of that, April the Unicorn, being one of the new unicorn species that we are able to have in our laboratory, thanks to the Sims 4 Horse Ranch release, and we are going to see whether or not April, or Medical Fairy, the miniature unicorn spulls, are going to be more of what we have come to expect and celebrate here in our Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge! Woo! <laughs> But surely I do actually feel a little bit bad for our miniature unicorns because to be fair, Kalino has done such an amazing job with being able to create so many of the animal custom content things that we have had over the years. And she made it so that years before we even had rumors of Horse Ranch being able to come out, we've been able to have dragons. We've been able to have unicorns, horses, like griffins and pegasi. Ooh, actually, we should do a griffin and a unicorn. Look at that. That's actually really cool. I need bird beaks on more of our animals. I always forget how cool that looks. Always. Uh, but she has made it so that we have been able to really enjoy quite the plethora of wonderful surprises for many species that we have bred here in the Varkatory. So of course, the unicorns that have been part of those journeys, uh, in fact, I think we've done a lot of unicorn journeys. <gasps> we haven't done as many as I thought! Unicorn and Corgi, Poodle and Unicorn, I haven't even done the Sheep and Unicorn one yet, Dragon and Unicorn, Unicorn and Fox, uh, Unicorn, we didn't even do the Unicorn and Pomeranian. <gasps> Okay, we're gonna need to be doing a lot more of the unicorn mixes. I feel so bad. Oh wait, no, I think it's because we've been doing, we didn't do unicorn, but I think we did Pegasus, uh, Pega, Pega, oh my, oh my gosh, I could have sworn. Um, okay, maybe we did, let's see. We did have unicorns, did we have Pega? Okay, let's see. Okay, nope, we didn't have Pegasus. Uh, Alicorns, did we have Alicorn? Is that what I'm thinking of? No, but otters and calicos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we haven't had as many unicorn mixes as I thought, which means you guys need to definitely go ahead and suggest them. Uh, and, you know, and they could be mixes with our miniature unicorn, or they could be mixes with our majestic normal sized unicorn. <laughs> Whatever you think is going to make this laboratory challenge really celebrate the wild, random wackiness that we could have with our uh, animal genetics. But all of that said, let's go ahead and strap on our safety goggles and put on our mucking boots and then sit ourselves down out of the way from those pointy bits as our two unicorns are going to have some random offspring this time because that is the special thing that the unicorn genes can do in our experiments. Once we have a unicorn Corn, they actually get to go ahead and randomize basically everything about their offspring's colorations. So they can't change the size of their offspring, they can't change the shape, but the unicorn's magical genetics have that interesting twist where they make it so everything else about their offspring do get to be changed and the results have been quite interesting in the past. So, um, you know, now we're gonna see. 
Are April's foals going to be the ones that we ooh and ah over? Or is Medical Fairy going to be able to come back and show us that if we want to be here for the true wild random wackiness of the uh, laboratory challenge, then we need our mini unicorns. So uh, let's go ahead and see. This is gonna be really fun too because we haven't done something where we actually have a random parent for each of the offspring. I think in like, I think we've only done that once or twice before and I love it because you see April is not going to lose this competition by sticking to just one kind of mate. No, no, no. April and Medical Fairy are going to go ahead and they are each going to be given the chance to have three foals. So three foals with three different parents. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop on over and use the dice of destiny to decide the unknown parent. And if we actually do not change the unknown parent to like a, a breed, then we actually don't end up with being able to have a different coat pattern on April. I guess that's not really important, but I do want to just have an idea of like who we're breeding with. So we're going to come over. We're going to randomize the breed using the dice of destiny. And then we'll randomize how many times we actually have the, um, like how many times we have the, the child's genes mixed together before we pick the foal. Also worth it to note that the first foal, according to the Dice of Destiny, is actually going to be a cult, which is very good. Uh, and then we actually only randomize once. So a cult and a Akiltechi, which I totally mispronounced, but <gasps> Ooh, that could be really beautiful with those smooth lines. And then we're going to randomize him once. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh. I actually really love like how the colors look already. We'll have to see if they get changed. But this is the first little foal that April is actually going to trot out of her stable with. No doubt tossing her mane in pride as she introduces us to little Sean. And Sean, you are going to be a friendly, brave, energetic little foal uh, who might have basically everything about what you look like currently change. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we are going to pop on over. And as the, our tiny little foal feels the effects of having a unicorn as a mother. We're going to be changing the muzzle color. Oh, well, yeah, we'll change muzzle color. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, oh, that's really cute. And then, you know, as he grows a little older, his eyes begin to change color as well. One, two, three. And then we need to see, he did get to inherit the little horn, yay. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's a little pink horn. Okay, so that's really cute. Now we're going to go over to the hair. So we're going to do mane. And then we didn't inherit any feathers. So we'll just skip the feathers. Mane, we randomize one. And then forelock, we randomize. Uh, let's see, it doesn't need to match. Two. One, two. Okay, now we're kind of ending up with a really interesting horse. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the tail, we're going to go ahead and randomize as well. Uh, one, two, three. So, you know, the colors, color is getting kind of interesting. Uh, and then let me see if we're going to either randomize the coat color and pattern, or if we're going to stick to their moms, we are going to randomize it. So one, two, three, four. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to go down the line with the dice of destiny. Cause this is a lot of little genes to find one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we've got one, two, one, two, three. All right. And so that is actually going to be little Sean, who did not turn out how I think any of us was expecting. <laughs> Those literally could have been any colors. And so that is April's first child. So I, I imagine she's feeling pretty proud, uh, but not to be outdone. Now that Medical Fairy has seen how it's done, and now that you guys have seen how it's done, we're going to very quickly go ahead and pluck another one of your guys' names from the random name generator, and Medical Fairy is going to get cracking. Diving into those stalls, and we're actually going to have the crossbreed this time is going to be... Dun dun dun! One, two, three. It's an Irish setter. So an Irish setter and a unicorn. And we're going to randomize one, two, three, four, five. All right, what do we have? Oh, we're actually unicorn color. 
<laughs> okay, so with this one, um, we are going to change, I think only the coat color and pattern is really what's going to be changing. Um, so we're gonna do one, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, and I'm, oh, and I'm trying to think if there are any other things that we would change about the puppy when it comes, no, just coat color and pattern would actually be all we need to worry about. Oh, look at his little butt. <laughs> all right, so this is actually going to be, dun, 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 Fearless Rose. Fearless Rose, welcome, welcome. You are going to be an active, smart glutton and a Clydesdale with anything. Oh my gosh, yes, Clydesdale are quite beautiful. Uh, all right, so. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move quickly because this is actually a little bit more of an involved battle between unicorns than I was expecting. And we're going to pick a new parent. So let's go ahead. We're gonna randomize. One, two, three. So, oh, now we have a Missouri Fox Trotter, cool. It's going to be another cult. And then we're going to randomize one time. Aw, see, I really like that color, the the white pattern of the coat with the pale, beautiful coloration on. Uh, I wonder if I should have left the main, like, one color. No, nah, we'll go for all of it. All right, meanwhile, Elena, welcome, welcome. You are our surprised little unicorn foal who happens to be aggressive, independent, but mellow. Aggressive and mellow. That... I have to kind of give that a little bit of a think, but while I'm giving that a bit of a think, let's go ahead and see what you're going to look like, my dear. Also, I like how you suggest, by the way, a boxer and a gazelle. I would have not so like even thought to do those two in all the barkatory. All right, so your muzzle, one, two, three. And then we've got your eyes, one, two. And yes, thank you guys for letting me know, by the way, about how beautiful the, um, how just amazingly beautiful the new horse custom content eyes are. We are going to be adding those in. Elena, you did not actually inherit the horn, but let's see what kind of patterns you end up with. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> it's so cute! One, two, three, four, five, six. I am a bit of a, a sucker for these. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. One, two, Oh my gosh, Elena, you look so cute. I forgot to do your mane real quickly though. So let me uh, get the dice of destiny on that. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, you ended up with no mane as well. I don't know about that. Maybe, well, okay, I mean, we'll keep rolling with it. And then one, two, three with this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you gonna end up with like no hair whatsoever? Uh, and then one, two, three, four. Are you kidding? You're so cute though. You really truly are. All right, so that covered everything for Elena. Um, we'll have to see what you look like when you grow up. And again, not to be outdone, a medical fairy is going to be diving in and seeing what they can go ahead and bring up by breeding with one, two, three, oh my gosh, a papillion, four, a puggle. I never would have thought to do a poggle. That's so funny. So we're actually going to randomize a daughter this time once. Oh, cute little curly tail. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see how this one turns out. And this is right over here, Nicole. Nicole, welcome, welcome. You are a lazy, or excuse me, a couch potato who's a troublemaker and hairy, but you know what? I bet you're gonna make up with it by shocking us all with some of the colorations that you end up with. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and we are going to change your coat pattern. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, we, we got robotic. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, okay, so one, two, um, wow, I haven't seen this coat pattern in forever. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, we have like a little Power Ranger puppy, I can take it. One, two, three, four, five, uh, and then, wow, we are ending up with like one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Okay, Nicole. Okay, I, I, I kind of am getting almost like Growlithe vibes from this. So I feel like uh, maybe Medical Fairy is really reaching into those genes pretty hard. But April, again, not to be outdone, is going to go ahead and welcome in the last of her little offspring with none other than one, two, 
three, uh, four, Barb is very pretty, five, almost there, six. All right, all right. Oh, there's a Barb. Oh, that's so lucky. This is actually going to be a Philly, and we're going to randomize it one, two, three, four, five. All right, there we go. Oh, hello, little Philly. And now we're going to pop on in, and we are going to come in. Let's see, Sumeli. Sumeli, welcome, welcome. So you're going to have a defiant, fearful, and needy personality. <laughs> but I, I think that you're going to definitely shock us with how adorable you are. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then let's change the color of your eyes. One, two, three. And then, do you inherit the horn? Let me double check. You do! One, two. So you inherit all the pretty little, like, um, rainbow horn. That's really fine. And then we're going to randomize your pattern. One, two, three. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four. Okay. This is, this is, okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, we were so close. We were so close. <laughs> and then the main. Okay, so we'll randomize the main. I feel like I just need to randomize the color because like we've ended up with a lot of no mains. But uh one, two, and then we need to do four lock. One, two, three, and then we need to do the little tail. Uh one, two, three four, five. Oh, that actually kind of matched in the end. All right, there you go, Sumeli. Uh, and then finally, like I said, not to be outdone, the final showdown between these two unicorns. And my goodness gracious, it does actually turn out that there's a lot more to the two of the unicorn genes than I remember. Uh, we're going to be randomizing with one, two, a Weiner Rhymer, which we've actually never done a Labarcatory Challenge wish I, with, I know for sure, certain. And we're going to be going six times, five, six. There we go. Hello, little one. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Now we're going to randomize your, oh, well, your name is actually going to be Neutral, which is really fun. And Neutral, I'm so tickled that you remember that the strawberry horse was one of our first laboratory experiments. I'm very, very amused that you've seen that many of them and so happy about that. You are going to be a playful, adventurous hunter, by the way, whose coat pattern is going to look like this. And then let me randomize again. So then one, one, two. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of colors happening over here. I kind of feel like, uh, you know, we might have had a medical fairy just kind of reach into a bucket and pull out whatever paint they could. But here we go, friends. The last moments where we need to see, do we think April? Or medical fairy have produced the puppy, or excuse me, <clears throat> have produced the foals that really make the Labarcatory challenge worth it. Uh, the thing that we haven't done yet is see if medical fairy's children inherit the horn, hooves, mane, horsetail, muzzle, etc. But we'll see when they grow up. For now, shine! You're the first little one to grow up. Oh wow, you actually look. Oh wow, okay. You look quite different than I was expecting. Um, I'm not complaining though, because I actually really like the, the way you turned out. With the tail, can I change your tail just so I can see it? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and like change the tail so I can see the tail without the wrap. That actually turned out a lot better than I thought. There you go, Sean. Nice. Meanwhile, Fearless Rose, let's grow you up. Oh my gosh, Fearless Rose. <laughs> So, Fearless Rose, you did actually inherit the horn and the muzzle, so let me get those for you really quickly. So, you have the horn, uh, or you have the muzzle, and you also are going to have one of the horns. I need to figure out, like, which one to go ahead and grant you. Whichever one sort of seems like it fits the best. Um, maybe this one? That actually doesn't, like, not match too terribly. And then you did not inherit the tail. And you did not inherit the hooves. So there you are. <laughs> I didn't even think about long ears on these guys. Then we have Elena. Wow. Oh, Elena, you really do look like a little straw baby. Like in your own special way. Which I, I didn't know that I was a fan of pink horses. But here we are. Apparently that's like one of the things I really love. Okay. Okay. Nicole. Nicole, are you going to be bringing back from behind the... Uh, the way that we've got, you know, these other horses trying to show up your parent. 
Uh, let's see. So Nicole inherited the horn. Okay, so Nicole did indeed inherit the horn and the muzzle. My gosh, there were so many more jeans than I was expecting. Sorry it's taken so long, guys. There's a lot going on with all of these. Uh, and then we did not inherit the horse tail or the horse hooves, Nicole. But you're doing your best. You're literally doing like everything you can to try to look as ridiculous as possible. Sumeli, you're the last one up. <laughs> And Sumeli, there you go. Wow. Oh dear. All right. Okay. <gasps> Little neutral. Are you going to be bringing it, bringing it at the last minute? Okay. You inherited the horn. You inherited the mane. Okay. It, I, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm on my way. We've got this. We've got this. Don't let, don't let these new guys show you up. All right. Let's see. Let's do this one. Uh, you actually inherited the horse tail as well. So let me get the horse tail on you. Oh my, you've got like an upsy horse tail. And you did not inherit the hooves. Okay. Okay. Like a giant mustard unicorn. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think that perhaps, perhaps we've learned a little bit of something from April about a showdown between the unicorns. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I would love to know what you guys think. I, maybe it's just a matter of personal taste. Do you like something that's extremely wacky and unusual? Or are you going for something that sort of takes your breath back with its elegance? <sighs> oh, all right. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay, Medical Fairy. I'm sure we're going to still be able to find a way to make the unicorns absolutely uh, adorable in our laboratory, miniature or not. Uh, but yeah, um, I think I know which one's my favorite. <laughs> But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey through all sorts of colors and colorations. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!